So sometimes, uh, whenever you are given a binomial expression, you need to find a specific term. So in order to do that, then you can use this formula that is given right here, where you find your coefficient, and then you multiply that by your first term to the power of n minus r times your second term of r. So now r, this is important to remember, r is one less than the number of terms you need. There should be an S there. Darn secretary. All right. So let's see if we can figure this out here for example 7. Where we need to find the fifth term of this expression. A plus 2B to the eighth. So if we use the formula of our coefficient, which is N C R, and then you have an X to the power of N minus R, and Y to the power of R, we need to go through and we need to figure out everything that we have. So let's say we're trying to find out our fifth term. So if n is your fifth term, we need to say r is equal to, well, r is your one less than the term you're trying to find. So since we're trying to find our fifth term, and we have, say, 5 minus 1, which is equal to a 4. Now, we also need to figure out what our 8 is. Well, 8 is your um, degree. So if we were to expand this to the power of 8, that means n is 8. So that hasn't changed from what we know before. Your x value, so whatever your first term, whatever you're going to plug in here, that's going to be just an a. And then whatever you plug in for b, sorry, that whatever you plug in for your y value, that is a to b. So what we can do is now we can have this memorized. We can just expand this. So we're going to have an 8CR. Now R is 4. X, which is an A, to the power of N minus R. So we're going to have an 8 minus 4 times our Y to the R. So we're going to have a 2B to the 4th. And that's how you fill everything in. Now, if you want to find your coefficients, remember to find your coefficients, you take 8 factorial over 4 factorial times 4 factorial. So you end up and get a 70 out front. And then we have an a to the fourth. And then if you have a 2b to the fourth power, that ends up and gives you, well, 2 to the fourth is a 16, b to the fourth. And if we finally simplify it and just multiply all that through, that's going to give us a 1,120 a to the fourth, b to the fourth. So that is how you find your fifth term of your polynomial if you had to expand it. Um, if you want to try that out and double check, well, sure, feel free to write it all out and try to do all your expanding how we've done the previous examples. Um, now for b, if we want to find just our coefficients of the term a to the fourth b to the seventh in this expansion, we can do that also. So up here we're trying to find our term, here we're just trying to find our coefficient of a specific term. So let's figure out what we have. Well, we need to figure out our r, we need to figure out n, your x, and your y. So we know that our n is an 11, because that is right here. So there's your 11 r is one less than whatever you're trying to find. Well, in this case, we're trying to find, if you look at your formula, this is y to the r power. So that means this 7, that is your r. And we know that we're going to have a 2a as our x and a negative 3b as your y. <clears throat> So that helps us because now we can plug all of these values into this formula right here and we can find out what our coefficient is. So we're going to say C sub, we have an 11, 7. You have <coughs> your X, which is a 2A to the power of 11 minus 7, that's your N minus your R, times your negative 3B to the 7th that is your r value. So if we clean this up, this is going to be a 
lovely time here. We're gonna have a, your coefficient ends up being a 330. Well, that's just the coefficient by finding your C. That does not include having all of your two to the fourth power, negative three to the seventh and all that stuff. So we have two A to the fourth power, which gives us a 16 A to the fourth. And then negative three to the seventh, well, that's a large number. That's a negative 2,187 B to the seventh. And so your term, well, we actually have like your A to the fourth and your B, but we don't really care about that so much. We need to take 330 times 16 times a negative 2,187. Gives you a small number of 11,547,000 and 360. So I would say it's like my salary I make here, but it's more like my bank account since I got the negative in there. I'm a negative 11 in the hole. All right, so that's how you can find your fifth term and a coefficient of a specific term. So pay special attention to your n's, your r's. X and y's should be a little bit simpler for you, but that should help with you watch your n's and your r's. Make sure you also know this formula you're gonna need to know it.